Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are doing my requested video uh, or kind of like the one that I promised you guys. If you guys remember back in one of the videos when I was talking about Seal Bigelow's uh, Elixir Blue fragrance, I'll link it up right here. I actually did mention that I have an extended fragrance collection that I do want to show you guys at one point and shockingly, very, very surprised myself, I'm actually keeping my promise and showing it to you guys. Uh, right now, I think I have most of the fragrances that I use on a regular basis here because I do have, uh, again, other fragrances that is not here right now, but I don't really use them a lot because I generally got them as for like free or anything like from a brand that I tried, I ended up not liking it, but I did keep it, so I might maybe gift someone. <laughs> This is a terrible advice, but anyway, so yeah, today I'm going to be reviewing some of the best fragrances I would recommend to uh, any man. Uh, I would say they are so good and they are for specific occasions. So if you're like me, I don't necessarily use the same fragrance for everyday use or for regular places that I go to. I do have purpose for it, just like the clothes that I pick versus what I'm wearing right now, like versus what I would wear to a place that I go out, something like that. So it's each for occasion, I feel like that makes more sense. So yeah, let's get into it. Number one, <laughs> this might, this I might butcher a little bit. It's called Bleu de Chanel. I think that's how you say it. I really don't know French. Yes, this is one of my first perfumes that I splurged and paid over $100, I guess, uh, because I think another most expensive perfume I have paid is I think 1 million and it's 100 it's it's called 1 million by Paco Rabanne it is so worth it it smells amazing it's a little bit sweet but it's not going to be in the video because I actually ran out of that and haven't bought it again this one is very very good because it's more like citrusy and it's also a little bit woody as well yeah it's like in between I wouldn't necessarily say it is um, like super sweet on the side it is in between it's more in the spicier side it's not like super spicy but a little bit spicy and one thing i also like is that the top of it is actually magnetic if you guys can tell see like this yeah it clicks back in um i mean it's not necessary personally <laughs> that you would need to pay a hundred dollar for uh, fragrance just for that, but it is cool that it has it. Okay, number two I have on my list is Polo by Ralph Lauren. This is one of the actual limited edition collection. It's called Silver Cup. Uh, it's from the name actually, it's called Collector's Item. So I don't know if they're gonna release this again. I think I got this on a hinge because I really thought like it was cool and I never really had polo. Uh, like I never tried anything from Ralph Lauren in my life uh, because I don't really like their style, but I just really wanted to try their perfume because I just really like it. So it's a collector's item, meaning I actually checked it right before I was recording this video. It is not available. They have very similar uh, item like this one, but it's called Polo Blue. Very similar like this. I'm not sure if it will smell the same, I wish I had that chance, I will try. If there's a requested video, I will definitely try, but... So this one is actually more on the... It's very, very lingering smell, I would say. Not in a bad way, like it's not a terrible smell, but it's definitely more like manly. I would say it's more like mature man, um, like very mature. I would say more like over 35 or so. Not like it's a bad way, but I feel like that's the vibe that it gives to people. Uh, it has bergamo and bedever. So it smells, uh, it's not definitely spicy. It's not seductive or sexy in any way possible. I feel like it's more like you would wear this to go to work or go like meet someone for business like it's not something or you're a family person that like you wear to this family gathering stuff like that that is something i would recommend because blue de chanel is definitely like in between it feels more versatile to me i would say it's more like you can wear that to a date or something and somewhat like sexy in a way and you can also wear that to work it's not like super 
seductive in any way because of the because it's not super spicy generally most spicy uh, like perfumes or like colognes for men or women generally tends to be more on the seductive side and it's more used for like um, like a date for a date or going out or like clubs and stuff like that because you want to smell good and like in different ways obviously everyone has different tastes and different opinions but that's just what I say from the research. So this is also like $100 depending on some places I have seen it. Again, not the same version, but similar versions available. Again, you can buy it for $100. Number three, this one is one of my favorites. I actually never, I didn't buy this. I worked with the brand, Victor and Rolf. It's called Spice Bomb Night Vision. So they actually have three different versions of this one because I remember when they first launched this one it was just Spice Bomb then they had they launched the second one which is called Spice Bomb Night Vision and they have the new one Spice Bomb Night Vision Double or something like that it's a newer one which is like red uh, label so this one is green because it's reference, referencing the night vision and I would uh, more towards in the say the spicier side it's a little bit warm but I feel more of the spice to it so the way also they uh, even do the ad it's definitely more meant for like you're trying to seduce someone or like more seductive obviously not exactly that's what I would say but I'm just trying to say like it's more on like sexier side you would definitely wear this to feel more confident in your skin and like feel more sexy and like probably do more like I don't know like that's kind of a person you are or you're just wearing it for a couple times a day or week to just you know feel confident in your skin so because this has clary sage black spices and grapefruit uh, I don't know how they made the combination with grapefruits. I cannot even smell it, but I do smell more of the spices. It smells amazing in terms of that. Very, very seductive. Uh, this is one of my favorites go-to. I, uh, again, don't, uh, I don't use this every single day, but I use this like whenever I go out with my boyfriend or whenever I go to events and stuff like that. I have gotten so many compliments from these. <laughs> 100% recommended and the price wise this is one of the most expensive one it's not as more expensive it's just $10 more expensive so this is $110 retail price so again very uh, like not super affordable would say but you're not going to be using this every single day so this is kind of like an item that you would buy and you might finish it maybe in two three years depending on how much you would use I'm just saying because you're not going to be using for every day when you're sweating so one of the items uh because i got this i think back in 2019 uh but then 2020 we didn't even go outside so i don't even know if i used it that much so here we are 2021 and i still have it and it's not empty now we are moving more into affordable section this is not to say they're bad it's just they're affordable and i actually made videos of them like specifically talking about these two products they're both from the same brand uh seo bigelow i absolutely love this brand i think they have such cool products they're not necessarily specifically um like on like fragrances or colognes for men but they do have many other products and they had made these two so initially i actually got this one elixir blue and i did the extended video on that so you can go check it out this one i'm going to mention it real quick that this is 25 dollars, so very affordable um depends on some websites so this gets sold out pretty quick because i remember the time that even i put it it was sold out so you can check it out on amazon i think i did put a link if i find it i will put it down below so it's very refreshing very clean uh it's not super spicy super it's very clean i love that i think this is perfect for everyday thing uh because it's just so subtle but it smells so good because this one i actually also used it at an event and people were like what does that smell like that smells so good so because this has watery merry notes lavender i absolutely love lavender and rosemary this little white musk i really don't like what musk that much because i think that makes it so musky and that's sometimes it becomes too manly in a way which is not a bad thing it depends on what you prefer but i feel like i would also want to have some sort of a smell that's not what every man smells like <laughs> and also has woody undertone so generally most actually men's colognes is like either spicy woody or musky so that's essentially what men's tones like 
colognes is like consist of so this one is a combination of all of that but main big uh, like the, that's consist of is the watery marine notes so that's what makes it so special and actually smells so clean so comparing to elixir blue this is more like on the seductive side that's why i would say it's more like red because it's it has black pepper in it so it's very not very spicy it's spicy and a little bit sweet it has vanilla in it not like super sweet just a little bit it's also a little musky again it's considered more modern clean and confident because it's seductive like sexy in a way so this one is at $34 so not again expensive very affordable you can find them on CLP Glow's website and also Amazon if I find the link they are available at Bath and Body as well so these are some of the <laughs> some of the fragrances that I use I absolutely love fragrances I think these are some of the things that I like I just love, I have fun with fragrance. I love trying it. I was actually gonna make my own fragrance, but that never happened. Just, there was a big complication, but I think back in the day I did post it. I will put a picture right here. It was supposed to happen with a brand and nothing happened. But anyways, so these are some of the fragrances that I use. I know for sure this one is the most popular one that you would probably see everywhere. So it's definitely worth it for the price, but again, this is so many people are using it. So you do want to definitely mix things up. So definitely would recommend this one to splurge on. But for affordable side, these two are perfect. So depending on what product you want to go for, you can even buy both of them. And that will be like maybe 60 bucks, which is still cheaper than any other expensive ones I just showed you. So some of my thoughts. Uh, yeah, if you guys want to check out more of them, I will put them down below so you can purchase them if you like. And I'll see you guys next week with another video. Bye guys.